What's up, Divine Feminine Air Signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra? I am Ashia. I'm a modern queen. I do apologize on my voice, but the show was wrong. All right. I'm getting messages or energy for um, the third week of June through the third week of July. And this could be your energy or energy for those that are close to you. Uh, please only take what resonates with you and leave the rest. This is for only sun signs for divine feminine. Okay, so that would be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun. Okay. All right, let's see what's coming towards you during this time frame. All right, we have fulfillment here. I wish that we have ego, vanity, pride. And we have apology, forgiveness. Okay. We also have closed off guarded resistance at the bottom here. All right. So I'm getting the sense that you could be getting um, wish fulfillment. You and your person here. Yeah, see, yeah, yeah. Something stable here. King of, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, King of Wands, Sagittarius, energy as well as Scorpio. Also with the Two of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. This is about holding on to something here. Um, you could be in union with a Sagittarius or a Scorpio here, or you could be um, feeling like this person is your soulmate and you're really holding on to this connection here and not really willing to let go of it even if this person may um, may not be as open to you as you would like right at this time here because it looks like you're open to receive what this person has to offer um, but this person may see you as a bit self-absorbed here um, because maybe they feel like you want reciprocity that's crazy okay let's see let's go a little bit deeper here you also may feel like this is a lost opportunity here for you this person in your relationship this person may have felt like you were stubborn or vice versa okay the six of wands here some of you guys are definitely dealing with the fire side uh Aries Leo Sag yeah you felt like you didn't win something here um something didn't go according to plan here with the six of wands in the reverse this could have been due to uh some sort of self-centeredness especially with this ego and vanity and pride here or you even could have possibly um how can I say that uh like how can I say that spirit okay so a sense of like insecurity that's covered up by like bolster ego or some shit like that you know like when you you were projected okay um eight of pentacles here with the queen of pentacles definitely an energy you could be dealing with the mother or father of your kid here for some of you but for some of you, it's like you don't really put the work in here. You don't really nurture this relationship. Capricorn energy as well as Sagittarius energy with the Queen of Pentacles. You could have felt like you you didn't really open up here. Or someone could have felt like this towards you. Or you could have felt like this towards your person here. So I'm really not getting any of your energy here. Except for this nine of swords here. It's like you're releasing something. You have clarity about something here. But the nine of swords in reverse. Alright. Let's see. What's apology and forgiveness here, Spirit? Apology and forgiveness here. Very precise messages, please. Thank you. Alright, Queen. I'm sorry. Knight of Cups here. Which is Scorpio's energy. As well as Libra's here. The Five of Cups and Scorpio again in the reverse. Some sort of denial here with the Queen of Cups. I'm sorry, the Knight of Cups here. It's the sense that this person regretted something that they did to you, regretted a, a way that they handled you. Um, and now that's why they're offering an apology here. They could have even been very stagnant here and not really wanting to move forward in this relationship here. 
they could have definitely abandoned you also in the past or um, just been in plain denial of the connection. Yeah, yeah. Nine of Wands in the reverse with the Four of Wands here. Definitely a sense of someone um, exhausted of playing house here, you know, exhausted of all the time that they, they put in something and someone finally has to like say fuck it and walk away. So this person could be coming back and you're kind of guarded towards the shit like, hey, I'm not sure if I even want this now. saying go ahead and do it so I'm gonna go ahead and get who's closed off here who's guarding who's causing resistance spirit hmm. three of pentacles here it looks like it's both of you both of you are closed off to each other for some reason. It's definitely a sense of both of you possibly having other options or other choices out there and not really clear on what you want or if you guys truly want each other. And it's like both of you are very stubborn. You're waiting for the other person to come towards you. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in here. I just saw so many. <laughs> Spirit is bringing this on home. Okay. Alright, so we have forgiveness here. I'm willing to forgive you and let go of the past here. travel let's travel the world and get lost together attraction you're so beautiful i get butterflies when i see you all right this person is skeptical of this relationship or this is your energy but this forgiveness card is definitely a sense of both of you may be expecting that that apology here and you're finding it hard to like uh transition this relationship i'm also getting the sense it could be a third party situation that happened in the past or something that um, is ongoing here and that's why you and this person can't seem to get on the same page here okay where is here yeah see yeah 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 love offer here at the bottom uh is your heart open to receive my love offer Also, with this wear and tear here, this love is starting to wear on me. Something has to change. I'm getting the sense that both of you are in a place where you need to both apologize. Like, you guys have both done things that need to, um, um, that led to this relationship not being as healthy as it could have been. Um, with the empty stage here, I feel empty without you. You're the spotlight of my heart here. Then we have soul contract. My soul recognizes there's a sacred contract to fulfill. But even if this is the case, this is why this person may keep coming back to you. This may be why this person is has such like, you guys have such chemistry, but it seems to literally be off because this person could maybe not um, be okay with though being in a commitment. And this could be your energy as well, especially, you know, uh, for the cross watchers, but yeah, definitely getting that energy. Okay, 
with the situation. This is why I feel like air signs are going through during this time here. Okay, Page of Cups here. Romantic proposal, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you're wanting, okay, you're wanting to take things slow. You even maybe, um, this person may be considering your offer is very childish here with the page. Uh, and whatever you're offering is just not good enough. Um, because they are wanting a new beginning, something new and big. Aquarius, Aries energy here. And they're also wanting, uh, you know, um, a certain level of reciprocity here. Yeah, because... You guys have been separated in the past or you could be separated right now if so look at your uh, separation reading but you guys have been separated it has been uh, some sort of heartbreak here in the past and that's why this person wants this forg forgiveness uh, wants to this apology from you and this is also why this person expects you to offer them more at this time all right Yeah, see, seven of Pentacles, I mean, seven of swords in the reverse. This is all about this person feels like by you not really offering them the level of commitment that they want, or um, owning up to the fact that you're wrong or and shit like that, you're being you're being like manipulative, and you're also being a little bit deceptive. This person is finding it very hard to trust you here. To yeah, see, they only want to move forward with you if you are planning to actually give them what they give you they see you know they want to be your focus and they see the potential but it's all about what is act like is there a place that they can no longer be in love with your potential here and again this could be your person's energy um this could be what you or you're feeling towards your person here with this six of pentacles it looks like you want a new beginning with this person but you really want this shit to be equal you don't want You no longer want to feel like you, you're you being taken advantage of, but I feel like this person could have felt like that in the past, or you could have felt like that in the past, that something was not equal and you were taken advantage of here. And this is in regards to a commitment here. Someone really wanted a commitment with you, or vice versa. Or healing a commitment, or healing a new leader. What's the challenge here, Spirit? You need a challenge. Ace of Swords here, Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups. Queen of Cups is Cancer's energy, and they share that with Gemini here. So if you're a Gemini, yeah, definitely pay attention. Yeah, Six of Cups here. This is definitely about healing uh, relationships. It's also about soulmate energy here. This is also about uh, past loves here. The problem is uh, being open and honest about how you feel, having clarity on what you want moving forward here. And if you feel like this person is your soulmate speaking up and saying that shit and offering this person the love that they deserve right here with this Queen of Cups, instead of coming to them with this little bitty ass Page of Cups energy, you know? Because this person feels like you're kind of like being, I don't know, fucked up to them, rude or something like that. Star card, Aquarius, energy. High, 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 oh my gosh. I, this is literally what I just said. Offer this person the commitment that they want here with the Taurus energy and the uh, Queen of Cups here. Because this person does see you as their wish fulfillment. They do have a lot of optimism towards this relationship. But they will, you know, release it if they don't see it going into a certain direction. I'm also getting that this is your energy for majority of you. Like, you're thinking about releasing a relationship that isn't offering you what you want anymore. Because they may not be offering you the commitment that you want. Or a commitment may not be good enough here. Or a certain, a certain um, type of relationship may not be good enough or you may be wanting this commitment. Also, with this, it's like being honest and true to yourself about who you want and who you love here. With this Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is now here twice. So, it's definitely some type of like clear communication that needs to happen. And that's the problem. So someone is not being open and honest here. Yes, yeah, because somebody wants stability here. And someone feels like it's 
like the other person doesn't want the stability it's, uh, it's like hard it's like pulling teeth is what I'm hearing I keep seeing a rainbow y'all I don't know what that's about okay what's in your future spirit character nice messages please all right, King of Wands in the reverse here. The Devil card, Capricorn energy with the Eight of Pentacles. All right, King of Wands is Sagittarius. His energy as well as Scorpios. The Devil card is Capricorns, and then the Strip card at the bottom here. All definitely seems like um someone's not going to be this is definitely this is an inflated ego right here this is it's like that's the near future someone is in their inflated ego and they're definitely going to be still in that place especially with this devil card where they're not choosing to do the work here they're aware that they need to do the work but I'm not seeing anyone that's choosing to do that work here that they need to do. Hmm. Give me the, okay. Page of Cups in the reverse. This is the Page of Cups again. Look at that. Somebody's not doing what they need to do moving forward here. This is definitely the sense of someone is, is abandoning the connection here. Aries Gemini energy here with the um, yeah someone is wanting to transform this but it's not quite getting over the hump here yeah to move forward with the eight of wands to have that growth a lot of you guys may experience growth here but a lot um, I'm sorry a portion is is going to find it very hard to uh, move forward with this person. Because some of you are deciding to transform um, that toxic, obsessive ass energy into something better and, and working towards being with this person because you know how this person feels about you or you know how you feel about this person and you're going to be open about it. Others, you, like you or your person is not, they're, they're not being honest about how they feel and how they move forward so they're still in this fucked up ass energy and they're acting like this isn't something that they they want so they're not able to heal from this situation moving forward okay Drastic, extreme, harsh cut off. So it's definitely getting cut off because they don't want that small ass offer. Verge, about to reveal, confess. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Somebody gonna be clear about what the fuck they want. Plug, tuned in, internet connected. Somebody watching the other person. Like, on that bumper. We got an entrapment, um, pregnancy money, heartstrings here as well. So definitely watch out for that shit. Let's see. What signs are you definitely dealing with during this time? For those of you that need that extra layer of clarification here. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, please. It really helps me out. Thank you so much. Clear and concise spirit. Divine feminine inner signs. Alright, we have Neptune which is Pisces energy. We have Venus, Taurus, Libra energy. We have Aquarius. And we have Saturn, Capricorn's energy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. Thank you so much for all of your love and support and I send it back to you guys tenfold and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.